Hi, this is Paul Haar from the saxophonist.org, and I'm here with a playtest and review of the DV and the DVNY baritone saxophone mouthpieces from Jody Jazz. <laughs> can you say about Jody Jazz mouthpieces? I think it's one of the few brands out on the market that just the mere mention of their name, you recognize the fact that you're going to get something that is highly well crafted, uh, precise, a good playing mouthpiece, and, and quality customer service. I've known Jody for well over 20 years and his company was one of the first to give me some mouthpieces when I was at the University of Tennessee to give to underprivileged kids. And so I've always respected the way he's done business and, and I'm familiar with this model. I played the DVNY on tenor and alto for a number of years, but this is the first time I had an opportunity to play this on baritone. I can say that the consistency has run the gamut of the entire line. I was even looking on their website and noticed that they have a DV, and I believe a DVNY for bass saxophone, for, so for you bass players out there, you might want to check that out. So what is the concept here? Um, he is basically using uh, a, a ratio proportion, pr proportion uh, for the chamber and the elongation of the window, the golden section proportions, and you can look up more about that on his website or on the internet. It has an elongated window. This is the DV model, so it has a much uh, steeper baffle. You can check out all the pictures on the website uh, as part of the review. Um, it's 24 karat gold plated. It is meticulously done. There are no uh, scratch marks, there are no imperfections in the tip. This is really well done and that's just what you're going to get with a, a Jody Jazz mouthpiece. The slope and the direction of the beak is very comfortable in the mouth. It is a thinner profile but it doesn't feel that way. It really feels more like an Altum uh, mouthpiece profile or a, or a metal tenor mouthpiece profile so it's really nice. I was looking on the website and I wanted to see what he claims that his role was in making this web uh, this mouthpiece and he said he wanted to create an efficient playing mouthpiece I cannot agree more I think you can hear on the examples how I'm able to easily subtone on the baritone and that's not something that I've had to do very much but if I really needed to get quiet I could uh, to eliminate the uh, annoying shrillness that's associated I felt that the DV really had a lot of bite punch power and projection, but it didn't have anything that would be in what I call the Black & Decker realm, where it almost sounds like a chainsaw, which sometimes that, that can happen. 
and to have a big fat range and bottom end. Obviously the DVNY, which has a little bit less severe of uh, baffling and whatnot, it's gonna give you a little bit darker sound. I have to tell you, I was a little bit torn. I kept thinking, yeah, the DVNY is what I would go towards. But every time I kept hearing and playing the DV model, I, I kept thinking, well, maybe I like that. Um, obviously, I can bark and push uh, on both mouthpieces. If I was doing a little bit more um, pop section work, I would want to go with the DV. Uh, if I was doing more solo work or um, maybe looking for a little bit broader range of colors, I'd probably go with the DVNY. Although I couldn't say that um, I couldn't achieve the same colors on the DV. Uh, again, these are excellent mouthpieces. They sell, they are like um, all mouthpieces today. You get what you pay for. This, is, this little puppy is about $650. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, you're obviously not a tenor player. Because I think that's the low end of a tenor saxophone mouthpiece now, especially if you're looking at vintage. Here's what I can tell you. It comes with a wonderful Robner um, ligature and it comes with a wonderful uh, cap, uh, incredible presentation tin, and uh, felt bag. It, here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna have stable, quality, consistent mouthpieces. I still play on the, uh, an ESP baritone model. I think it might have been the first or second production model mouthpiece uh, that came out years ago. And here's what I can tell you. These are great mouthpieces. They're going to last you forever and they're going to give you your sound. If you need to get a different mouthpiece, it's because you're bored with yourself, not because of the mouthpiece. So both the DV and the DVNY, if you're a baritone player, these are things that should definitely be on your radar. For reviews like this, other reviews, great educational features, and of course, amazing interviews, be sure to check out www.thesaxphonist.org. Thank you.